Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting uh, screencast. The problem reads, uh, determine the components of uh, the reaction at A and C. We'll see A, comma, B, and C. This problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics and Statics uh, textbook, 13th edition by R.C. Bella. Right. To start with, we're going to draw the free body diagram. Uh, we have hinges on both sides and we have the rectangular distributed force as well as a concentrated load. So both hinges are going to have two reaction forces. We have AY and uh, AX like so and there we have uh, let me put this inside so that it will just be easier to indicate the value. Then we'll have CY there as well as CX. Uh, so we are able to find the vertical components easily. Uh, the horizontal components, we are going to find it when we separate these two frames. So we are going to have an equivalent force they are acting at the mid span this is equal to the length which is 3 see the, the area under the load diagram gives us the equivalent force so 3 times the intensity which is 400 therefore this gives us a 1200 newtons and of course this position like we said it is at the mid span that length there is just a one point Five. Great. So let's take moments. Let's say about point A. So say summation of moments about point A equal to zero and clockwise in our reference. Right. So what do we have? About point A will have a negative moment 1200 by 1 1.5. Mm -hmm. And then we we'll have another negative moment, I mean negative moment from the 600, 600 by 3. Mm -hmm. And then plus CY by uh, 3 equal to 0. Therefore, our CY is just going to give us, of course, you don't expect any moment from CX because CX coincides with uh, our point where we're taking the moment of uh, in a, a moment moment is of you've seen all right so uh, the lever arm for cy is equal to zero okay therefore we will not have moment due to cx so 1200 by 1 1.5 and then minus 600 so minus 1200 by 1 1.5 minus 600 by 3 and then divided by 3 see why we get a positive 1200 1200 newtons right minus 1200 by 1 1.5 minus 600 by 3 divided by 3 1200 okay then summation of forces in the y okay we find the next one so this is a y uh, plus c y uh, minus 1200 equal to zero we already found what c y is so c y is this one here so we have a 1200 minus a 1200 which gives us a y equal to zero okay so this is zero and then c y is equal to 1200 and then finally we have summation of forces in the x direction like we said this equation will have two unknowns so it means we'll need to separate the two frames into two separate members so that we are able to find 
those values. So I'll write the equation even then. So we have ax plus cx plus 600 equal to 0. So we cannot go any further, not until we write this into two separate uh, members. Let's do that. Uh, one side, we are going to have something like this. The other side will have something like that. All right. So draw them together. So there we have already found, um, I will not indicate AY, AY is zero. So this point is A. We have AX, which we are able to find. Here, this point is C. We found already 1200. All right. We haven't yet found CX. We are able to find it. And then we have this distributed force on top. This distributed force to this point where we have a pin, a pin joint. Okay, we have a pin there at B. Okay, and then let's say I will have one reaction force like that, I'm calling BY, and then another one like so, I'm going to call BX. Okay, and then I have again this side, the same distributed force with the same intensity. Then here, for this to equilibrate, I'll just have opposite. And then this side, I'll have my BX like so. All right, so the intensity for that is 400 newtons per meter. And so is this side. Here we also have one uh, concentrated load, which is a 600. Okay. Uh, what else? The lens, we already have them. We have a three there. Maybe I can indicate what this is from there to there. Uh, this is a 1.5. And so is from there to there, right? This is 1.5. And then from here to down here, up to there, um, and let me write it the other side. Let me get something to help me draw a straight line so that it is neat. Okay, let me draw it somewhere here, something like this. up to here right great so this length here is equal to three all right so now what we're going to do is um okay i put the 1.5 at the bottom because i'll need to use other space on top 1.5 and I also put another 1.5 here. All right. I will, not, I will need to use this space here for the equivalent forces. So I'll have the equivalent force there, which is just equal to 1.5 by 400. And this gives me a 600. The same applies there, this is going to be a 600. And it is positioned at just the mid span of that, which is just a 0 0.75. And so is this one there. Okay, this is 0 0.75. Let me get where we have space. It is at the mid span, so this is 0. 75 half of 1.5 great so which one do we start with of course this point is b this is also b ready okay we can also start with the other one in fact there is no big deal so doesn't matter which one so let's start with whichever so let's start with this one let's start with this one okay okay so let's apply the equation 
over here we say summation of moments about point b equal to zero and clockwise being our reference so we want to find ax let's do so uh what do we do now uh about point b there we have ax by the lever arm which is three this is a positive moment and then we have plus 600 by 0 0.75 positive moment okay 600 will not cause this 600 here will not cause any moment about b so this therefore is just going to be equal to zero then ax is just equal to so grab your calculator 600 by 0.75 divided by 3 so this is equal to minus 150 newtons so 600 by 0.75 divided by 3 150 so the direction changes for this one direction changes so direction instead will go in like so and this value is equal to 150 great um let's find uh the components uh in the y direction so we'll say summation of forces in the y equal to zero okay what do we have we have um we have minus 600 plus by equal to zero and therefore our by is equal to 600 newtons so by is equal to 600 and so also is this by here and then finally we have summation of forces in the x direction equal to zero like so what do we have we have 600 um, plus bx okay and then uh, I'll, I'll use this direction here for this ax so i'll just say minus 150 okay equal to zero and therefore and therefore our bx our bx is just going to be equal to so we have 600 minus 150 we have a 450 so this is minus 450 newtons so bx direction has to change okay so let's change the direction instead of facing like that direction it will face in like so and this is equal to 450 even the other one there we change instead of facing like so it will face like this and this magnitude is equal to 450 okay it's not very clear let me move this to b i move it just a little bit backwards so this we are saying is equal to 450 great so this is the value here great uh-huh all right so having done so we are going to go to this side now we'll go to this side uh we need to find cx we need to find cx so for this side we just say summation of forces in the x direction equal to zero okay what do we have we have cx um plus 450 
equal to 0. Therefore, our Cx is just equal to minus 450 newtons. So Cx, the direction is going to change also. It will be going inwards. Okay. So Cx is just equal to 450 like that. All right. So we have found, I guess, everything. So we said our Cx here, our Cx, the direction changes. It goes inwards like this. And this value is 450. And then Ax, we say this direction also changes. Okay. It goes inside like this. And this magnitude is equal to 150. Okay right so let's just outline the final solution we have cy we have cy uh, we have ay okay let me indicate this is also newtons and then we have uh, uh, ax Then we have by. Uh, then we have bx. We have bx. Then we have cx. All right. Let's check this equation. If this equation, let's check it. So. Uh, AX, 150, of course, directions have changed. And uh, CX, the other side, well, it is fine. Great. I think this is really about it. This is really about it. And I hope the video was helpful. And if it was, give me a thumbs up, like my video. Continue subscribing and liking my channel. Bye-bye. And see you in my next uh, screencast.